synopsis says entertainment for West Holmes High School, Playboy. A yearbook with a centerfold? The high school yearbook. This doesn't look like your traditional yearbook, and it's not, believe me. It looks like a copy of Life Magazine subscriber special edition, but as we open it up, you can see that it is a yearbook. This comes from the year 1975. This is a 1975. And if you think times are strange and odd today, history does often repeat itself. This is from 75. This is from West Holmes High School in Millersburg, Ohio. It's a small town. It has only about 3,000 people in the town. They are known as the Knights. That is 1975 with the tie, and it's part of Holmes County. Holmes County is the home to the largest Amish population in one county in the country. There's 42% right now. They say in 15 years, it'll be a majority Amish county, the first one in the country. Now, what they did here is they did contents, lifetime. They put a Y there for some reason. Senior. Sports Illustrated, we can get around. Humpty Dumpty, Reader's Digest. What? I've never seen this in any yearbook. And, of course, White Pages. 1975, of course, was a year that President resigned. Nixon, Ali was still the heavyweight champion. And Patty Hearst vanished. The kidnapping, crimes, and conviction of Patty Hearst are a saga as surreal as their era. A lot of things happened there. A lot of different things around the world. It was just a year in history. Yearbooks can be also a good look, not only at your history, but the history of the country as well. We can see some of the fashions here. Looks like bright colors. They did have Thanksgiving back then. Kids still look cool. It was the best of days. And then, of course, we have black and white and color. I'm glad that one's in color. They have a football team. One of the football players in this graduating class did play for the NFL. And we'll show you him in just a little bit. Those people, they had a skinny dip club. That was not allowed in my high school. And lifestyles, of course, great suits. Of course, they have winner, principal, of course. Just go through some of these. Just the fashion in here is awesome. Hairstyles as well. Driver's ed teacher. I think they had better vehicles back then. This is a very agricultural, a lot of farmers down there. As you know, with a lot of the Amish. They did still ride bikes. The cars in here would be worth... There's there's an Amish buggy. Filling gas. There's the lunch ladies. This is what lunch ladies used to look like, I think, across the board. That's... If you saw a lunch lady, that's what they look like. We have the seniors here. Looking good. There's Personality Plus. Personality Plus. That's a lot of personality right there. The the high school photos I she's not she's not even looking. She's not even looking straight on. The collars, the bow ties. 1975 was the year of the bow tie. This hairstyle is fantastic. And of course, you can't go wrong with the perm. That's probably not a licensed McDonald's, but they're in, a, they're in a tiny town in the middle of nowhere. There's the most reliable. Of course, they're a Boy Scout and a Girl Scout. They did have planes. That is the best sense of humor. I don't know what's funny about that. We have the best dancers. He's not dancing. I don't know why he's not dancing. Still some cool pictures. Very good colors in here. A lot of reds. Oh, what is that? That's a phone booth. That's where you used to have to make calls. You didn't get to carry around that booth. Most athletic. 
There's Joe. That is actually the football player who played in the NFL for the Seattle Seahawks. Most creative, most talented. I'm not sure that's a good picture. Maybe that was a slow year for them. But then they started doing different magazines. Sports, Il Sports Illustrated, West Holmes High School, 1975. There's Joe Norman. He also played for Indiana. There's Campbell. And I don't think he has it. Joe Norman is the man who hit him. And look at Woody pointing out there. And went on and got drafted in the second round. The only NFL player from this particular school. He was a linebacker. Played, I think, three seasons. There he is. Is a He's probably in one of these somewhere. Basketball. Just your normal yearbook, but you can tell by the different the different dress and the different ties. And I, I'm not sure anyone wears that kind of coat anymore, but that's okay. The posed wrestling. There's champion. It's looking good. I think he I think he'd be probably faster if he didn't have all that hair. Baseball. Golf. Oh boy. Of course, basketball. The tinted glasses. I like the tinted glasses. They had the glasses that when it was bright out, they turn into sunglasses. That was you never had to change anything. They have sports. Of course, they have their Humpty Dumpty magazine for little children. I can see that. That's good. You know, the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. Looking good. This is the underclassmen. Those look like the Hanson brothers. You think they show Speed Racer here? <laughs> hey, guys! From the hockey movie. Looks like some sort of mummy. I think they were very weight conscious back then. They did ride bikes. Different things. Just your normal, your normal yearbook. I don't know what that picture is. And this is talking about Ma Bell before he had cell phones. Do you see? They're all connected by that wire. On the phone, on the phone, phone. This young lady's on two phones. And they're all hanging out by the phone booths. There are only two phones in the school, two phone booths. So only two people can make a call. No texting, no looking anything up on the internet. Regular little paper. Kids still got put in trash cans. There was still some bullying, apparently, but better dressed. Not the best lockers. I don't know what this guy's doing. There's that's that's the computer of 1975, a typewriter. I don't know what she's typing. She must not be able to see. She's looking really close. And then we have Reader's Digest. I don't know if you could do these with copyright, but there's Reader's Digest, so it goes through all the clubs that they had. Future Homemakers of America. I don't know how many clubs of that still exist. This is the Student Council. There are some smart individuals. You know, stresses religion secretaries provide assistance. That's probably not a club you'd have today. The media, the media-minded staff, probably responsible for this yearbook. There's FTA in the classroom. There's the French club, the Latin club, Spanish, O-W-E. There they are, looking good. Everyone that you, hospital visits. I mean, this is, this is a very community based school you know club works towards the purchase of additional equipment some have ties some have t-shirts it's all different things there's a good collar let's see 20 points earned students trip to detroit i don't know if i'd want to go to detroit in 1975 last month was the worst for killings in the history of detroit but if you won that. That was a prize. I bet you that was pretty eye-opening. Um, History Club. They get to go to Williamsburg. Well, that makes sense. The Library Club. 
There's an exciting group of folks there. Very library club. It's a good club to have. This is FFA, a chance for growth. Future Farmers of America. There they are. They have their badges. The natural study area. JVS is vocational educational. So it's a little kids. But it's right across for the entertainment for West Holmes High School. Playboy? Wait a second. I How did this get approved? I, I don't know. Seriously, there's so many Amish there. I, a small town. I don't know what this... It's like a rabbit with a skunk thing. I'm afraid to turn the page. Okay. Here we go. There's Homecoming Queen. And, of course, they built fires there. Well, they're fires. These almost look like the Manson girls, which are big. It's a, see the Dairy Princess? We have a Dairy Princess. Here's the parade. National Honor Society. A lot of smart kids down there. Girl State. Staters to Capitol. It's, there they are. Boy State. There's the glasses. Here's this. This is a good look. I'm not sure they have that still. Okay. This is interesting. They actually have a Playboy pullout in a high school yearbook. This woman doesn't look happy about it. But she's in the yearbook. I believe that's the same girl. And okay. I think we're okay. Got the white boots there. They. I'm not sure you could get away with having a centerfold in a high school yearbook. I have never seen one. I've never heard of one. But I think we'd get a lot of those looks. There are scholarships. District and state. Very cool. See, they can spell. They can spell down there, at least the first two letters. I believe that's the... You've never heard it so good. That's the centerfold. The bow ties are great. This is, I mean, those, this is some sort of dinner. That, those, those are great outfits. I really like this shirt. Of course, they did a play with these pants. Not bad. She looks a little scared. There's the night of the year. That's a football player. That's Starsky and Hutch. Look at the perm. Oh, really? Hey, why don't you do me a favor and go get yourself another perm and let the grown-ups talk? That's the I Dare You Award. That's good. I don't know. This is... I don't, I don't even know what this is. OEA Queen Candidate. Distributive Education. They have all kind of strange different things that I'm not aware of. Spotlight Winners. Not happy about dramatics. He doesn't look very dramatic there. There's Starsky and Hutch again. They only graduated 160 seniors. There they are as they go off into the world. Weather members, 70% chance of rain, so it's moved indoors. Probably to keep all this polyester dry. It, did, it didn't hold water very well. It held water. And then you have the white pages. I can see that. That's much better. So these are just ads that you see in the back of back of books. Ohio. Nothing to pizza. Everyone loves pizza. Sports shop, that's no longer around. Friedlanders, that's no longer around. That's here in Worcester. Cool old store. Cool car. The VFW hall. Pickup truck. Not surprising. Churches. I wonder how they felt about some of the things in here. A rubber company, because that's what you need. Amish Corner Restaurant. The Amish, they're going to take over Holmes County. Because they, I don't believe they have a TV. They also have a weird practice of something called bundling. You wonder why they're going to take over that particular county? One of their courting is called bundling. Where in the courtship, you just spend the night in the same bed with the person you're dating. I, this is, don't know, class of 75, 
He looks... These... They aged a lot different back then. Maxwell Brothers Clothing for Men. There's a little restaurant. Just go through some of these things. Look at the great cars there. If he had any... Look at all the good cars there. There's a Ford. Real estate. Autos. Of course, concrete. You want... They have like little corner stores back then too. That's where you get your food. It's a drive-in. Great, big, huge car so you could fit people in the trunk. There's a Farmers and Savings Bank. There's a great looking car. You have to find success. It will not find you. Racing every Saturday night. Lakeville Speedway. There's Tealbuck Equipment. Michaels, insurance, something you thought about a lot in high school. Holmesville elevator, grain, feeds, and seeds. Well, that's great. The, I don't know if that's a typo, but I'm pretty sure that's not spelled right. There's Tarber. There's a couple of concrete ads, which I find is strange. Now, I told you it's agricultural community. Spring Walk Farm. All-American calf in 1973. Visitors always welcome. Well, that's what I want to do with my Saturday. Now these Holmes County beef is the best. There it is. That is a great ad. More here. Now we just have some parting shots. This looks like a worldwide wrestling. Don't know. Looks like someone's getting arrested. These are just great the, the pants try to find those pants today I don't know there's just your usual thing different things 1975 I think this is an interesting yearbook because it not only is a yearbook it's a history of their life it's a history of the county history of the world and just something yearbooks do sell fairly well especially if someone wants an old one um, they go for about 15 to 20 bucks depending on, but I never, ever saw one with a centerfold. Thought it was interesting. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.